Today I am going to show you how you can make a really easy procedural uh, carbon fiber material in Blender. And the look we are going for is some kind of uh, not too close uh, up on the material, but rather uh, uh, something like this. It's a bit blurry and a little bit from the side. So, so maybe something like uh, this picture right here. We can't see the, the detail as much. For example, this one is not what we are going for today. But you can save some time by using this this material if you don't uh, if you aren't going up too close. So I'll just show you here. I'll put it on this keyboard. And now let's just zoom in to the material. And as you can see, we got these cubes going around. And, and how I set up this material is pretty simple. And uh, let's just move it a little bit so we, we got it tidy. So what I've done is set up a magic texture. So that looks like this. So you got the lines, but it's a little bit blurred. It's not like the wave texture, which can be too sharp in my opinion. And uh, you can see the um, you can see the settings here. It's depth to scale 100, distortion 20 is what I've tuned it to be. And for the color ramp, you plug it in here, just linear, and uh, you put that, yeah, something like 0.8, I think works. And then you just feed that into a mix node. And on the other side of the mix, you have actually the, the same. I see that the position is a bit different, but that doesn't really matter. The magic texture is the same, but you just press Ctrl Shift T on the magic texture to add a mapping node and the texture coordinate. And you just flip it around 90 degrees on the C axis and you will get this uh, pattern, the cubes in between. And that's the mix and then you plug it into the base color is what I like to do. And what you actually can do here, because in these pictures, for example, this one is a very good example, is that you have this kind of uh, glass acrylic on top of the carbon fiber itself. And you can actually use clear coat in Blender to achieve this kind of effect. And you also have the roughness, maybe you can it's a bit too rough, 0.1 maybe, works fine. And there you go. Let's just quickly align the camera to view. And <laughs> we have a depth of field. That's why it's so blurry. So let's just disable it for now and we'll uh, do a quick render. So here we have it, uh, and I think it looks pretty good, and it's a good way to add some some extra detail to your uh, renders, because if this was just a plain color, it would have been a little bit boring, I think, uh, at least for the like medium uh, closed uh, shots, if it's just a plain color all the way and the same roughness. In this case, you get some texture, and it will give it a more realistic look. So this is one example and also I did another one which you will see right now because uh, when I looked uh, closer at the picture it's actually not this cube pattern but it's uh, just one single line it looks like but it's like a weave so it looks like it's just uh, lines going in one direction so you might as well just delete half of the mix. So you might as well just delete the bottom half here and forget about the mix. Plug this straight in and you will get the other result. So you can actually choose whatever you would like. And uh, that's it for, for this video and thank you so much for watching.